All right, so HubSpot just launched a new projects object, which is a part of the core object library. I think everyone's starting to talk about how HubSpot might be inching into the project management space. So let's take a look at the new object and see how it works. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna want to go into the product updates section of your HubSpot app and make sure that you opt in to the new Gantt chart beta. So in order to do that, you can search in new to you. I'm just gonna search it here because I already have it turned on and search for projects and you will see the project object with a Gantt chart view and click on the join beta button there. You'll still have access to the project object without that, but everyone wants a Gantt chart view and it's open in public beta. So go ahead and turn that on. And then I'm just going to call these out because they are newly shown on the product update area of HubSpot and they are in development. So the things that are not yet available in the projects object, but seem to be coming soon are the project's task card, the project subtask, task dependency for projects and project templates. So I think those are all things that are really going to start to round out the projects object and make it a lot more competitive with other project management tools, but we are gonna show you and do a deep dive into the projects tool without all of those for now. All right, so to get started, I am going to click into my new projects object that I have activated in my account. All right, so right now we are just looking at the typical Kanban view that you are all used to in any pipeline inside HubSpot. And that is a good thing to point out that projects are still a pipeline and can be set up as a pipeline inside HubSpot. And I wanna start here because I think one thing that's really cool is they actually have default tags for your pipeline based on a few properties that are core to the project's object. And so you can see here, I've got a couple projects where they are saying that it is due soon. And that is based on the target due date, which is a new default property inside the project's object. I've also got a project here that you can see has an overdue tag on it. And so this is because the target date is past due. So these are two default tags that you can set up in your pipeline. One thing that's really cool about this is since this is a brand new object, a lot of times new objects in HubSpot don't get these small features like pipeline tags. So it's really exciting that they already have pipeline tags along with default tags that you can set up immediately when you enable the project's object. Okay, so now that you've seen those tags, let's talk about those new default properties inside the object. So the three properties that really matter here are start date, target due date, and then target duration. So if you think about any type of project that you want to manage, there's always gonna be a start date and a target due date for it. And so those are core properties that you can set up. So you can see in this example, I've got a start date date and a target date set up. Now they also have a default property that is a calculated property showing the target duration. So when you set the start date and the target due date, it's gonna calculate how long that project is gonna take. And all of that data is gonna feed into the thing that people are most excited about with the project's object, which is the Gantt chart. All right, so I've set up a bunch of projects in here just so we can see what it looks like with a lot of projects in flight. And so you can see here by default, this Gantt chart is showing us all of the project based on their start date and their end date. So you can see all of the projects that I have in flight and all of the timelines associated with them here. You can also set up different types of views here so I can come in and look at a daily view of the Gantt chart, or I can even look at monthly view. And then you still have the same types of filters that you're used to on any other pipeline in HubSpot. Now, the thing that is going to start to get interesting, I think especially once they start having the project templates, is setting up tasks within each project. And those can be viewed on the Gantt chart as well. So if I hover over this project here, I'm going to click on this plus button and it'll allow me to quickly create a new tab. All right, I'm going to make up a task for this. Let's do schedule product delivery. And then you can set a start date for the task and a due date. So now I'm going to create another few tasks here quickly so we can see what it looks like having a few tasks within a project on this view. Okay, so I've got some tasks added in here. And so you can see within this project, I've got three different tasks and I can click into this to see all of the details about this task. And I can also collapse this specific project if I want. And you can quickly update the timelines for tasks and projects right from this view too. So if I know I'm going to start this task a few days later, Later, I can set that due date here and it'll automatically adjust the task directly too. And then same thing with the actual project. So if we're getting into this project and we realize that we're actually gonna be able to complete it sooner, you can automatically adjust the target date right from here and it'll adjust those properties for target due date immediately. All right, another new view that I think is actually pretty cool but nobody's really talking about much is the calendar view. And by default, when you go to the calendar view, it's gonna show you the calendar based on create date. But if you click on the settings icon here, you can configure it to be based on whatever date you want. And so in this instant, I actually want this to be based on the target due date so that I can see all of the projects that I have that I'm working on and when they're actually going to be due. So then within this view, you can click into any record. And again, you have a much more developed sidebar where you can see all of the information that you need. If I had anything, 
going on inside the record. It would give me a quick breeze summary. You can see all of the associated objects, anything you need right from here. All right, last thing I wanna show you, you can create a new project via workflow inside HubSpot. And so if you're thinking what I'm thinking, I think a really strong use case for projects is for implementation or customer on onboarding. And so what I wanna do here is when a deal gets moved to close one in our sales pipeline, I wanna automatically create an onboarding project. All right, so I've got my trigger set up so that this workflow will trigger when a deal gets moved to close one and now I can create a record so I will come in here and I will choose a project to create and in this instance I want to name this project the deal name and then onboarding. We're gonna set this up in the onboarding handoff stage in our pipeline, hit save, and now we're all set. So now anytime a deal gets closed one in our sales pipeline, we'll get a new project created for them. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that the project's object is early, and it is, and HubSpot knows that, but they just introduced it. We can already see that they have some really cool features in development. And I think that this is gonna be a really great tool for teams that are managing lightweight internal tasks or internal projects. I'm not quite sure that if you're using a really big, deep project management tool that you're going to want to migrate all of that over to the project's object immediately. But I think you should keep an eye on it because I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity for teams to start managing their internal processes and internal work inside HubSpot, which is really cool. And last but not least, the most asked question as of today, September 18th, Arrows does not currently integrate with the project's object. However, we intend to. And as soon as HubSpot opens their APIs, we will integrate with the object because there is such a strong use case for Arrows sitting on top of the project's object. So basically, Arrows can be the client or customer facing task management layer, and you can still manage all of your internal tasks and internal work inside HubSpot. So we'll keep you posted as soon as that's available.